Hey guys, I got some fun news this week. Well, fun for me. I created a new online course and it's called How to Eat. How to Eat, a faith-based approach. This means we are not doing diet culture with like a Christian spin on it. We are rejecting diet culture completely in this course. But we're also not going to reject all the diet stuff and then swing all over here and go, just eat whatever. We have no rules. Like, no. What does God say about it? What does the Lord, did he set up a system of, yes, he did, a food and a way to feed our body. What does that look like? What does it feel like to end up in that place of food freedom? So that's what the course is about. Before I forget, get all excited and start talking about it. I am doing a coupon code for the month of July. So from now until the end of July, forgive me if you're watching this after July, I'm so sorry. I'm doing a coupon code for 20 bucks off if you type in July, J-U-L-Y, capital letters, you can get 20 bucks off if you want to give this a try. So the first thing we're going to do in the course um, is mindset work because a lot of us are mired deep in the old diet culture dogma patterns, all of that. For decades, we've just taken it in and accepted it and lived by it. And you don't make a shift like that overnight. So we're going to do a lot of mindset work on what the old looks like and then how to shift to the new and then practice, like going back and forth. Like, what does it look like? This is how it used to look. This is what the new way looks like. This is another way we used to look. This is a new way. So we're a lot of mindset work at the beginning to kind of lay the foundation for, for future stuff after that. So then we'll talk more about the specifics. Like, cause you can change your mindset, right? But then it's like, but okay, how do I eat though? <laughs> what do I eat? What does it look like if I'm not counting every calorie and trying to restrict and all the old patterns? Well, what, what, does, it, what does it look like? Um, I have some very specific thoughts on it. Again, that, that are faith-based, that come straight out of scripture, that, that remind all of us that God did create a food system. And there's a reason why, and we, we should probably return to the foundation that he designed for us for our best good. So, um, after we kind of do that, then there's going to be a lot of extras. I'm doing a PowerPoint on how to eat to calm a sugar addicted body or in the same vein to balance blood sugar. And, and this isn't just for people that are like in danger of prediabetes or diabetes or we all need balanced blood sugar, not just for weight control, because it helps control weight, but it also controls our moods. It controls inflammation in the body. Like all of us could use this information. So don't skip that one if you take the class. A lot of people think, well, I don't need that. My blood sugar is fine. Maybe, but a lot of people with prediabetes or insulin resistance don't know they have it. And, and the modern diet really kind of um, causes that. So we'll do a lot with that. I'm going to bring in some bonus videos on things like what to do when you're out of control, um, what food boundaries are, scripturally even, and why that's different than dietary rules from diet culture. We're going to, I'm going to have several downloads with information on food groups and how to make this real food thing work. I'm, I even just finished a five page document for it yesterday. That is literally all the best recommendations and tips and tricks that I've learned over the last 20 years in this space. I've even got some meditation verses for you too. So this for me, hopefully will be enough information to empower you to begin to shift from that old, tired, awful, white knuckle willpower, starting a diet every Monday and just lay that down and, and eat in the way he designed us to eat and find joy and peace and answers for how to get out of that deep pit that we were all stuck in because our society threw us in there telling us, you know, we had to obey the, all these rules with food and make our bodies look a certain way. And so we got into disordered eating and let's just take a deep breath and return to the way he designed it, the way our grandmothers and grandfathers ate when food wasn't all about numbers and rules and macros and all the things. Um, I'm just really excited to offer a class. I don't have one with this many specifics. So I'm glad that this is now in my curriculum so that there truly is someone out there shouting <laughs> as loud as she can that the Lord in is interested 
and how we're eating because it has a big impact on us and he will help us get to that place of freedom if we will just trust him. So that's my news for this week. Check out the link below if you want to take a look at the class. There's a whole landing page where you can check it out before you have to click on anything. And if you have a question, ask me in the comments. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.